Okay, and we're off. And we have a guest today. We have a, yeah, we have a dog because she doesn't know what we're doing recording the video. So I need her on my lap or else she'll bark. She's going to be loud otherwise. <laughs> okay, so today's video is another music-related one. We saw some success with the previous posting, so we're trying to keep the ball rolling there. And we're going to go Patrick's top five new releases of the month. Um, Kevin listened to them the other day, so he has somewhat of an opinion. Yeah, listen to them on the porch. <laughs> yeah. I dug them. They were pretty good. So it's a mix between singles, EPs, and albums. So we're running the range of different types of releases. You'll just have to clue in yourself if you want to find out more about any of them. So number five is Ron Gallo. It's called One Day. W-U-N is how you spell it. And when Kevin was listening to Ron Gallo, we said it was very high energy. Um, I like to pretend that Ron Gallo is like what would happen if David Byrne got projected into the future 40 years and was from Philly instead of New York. But he has like that artsy punk vibe going on. You can tell when he puts on a show, he has a ton of energy. He seems like he's a lot of fun. Nice. So the song's called Hide Myself Behind You that I like the most on that release. Um, yeah, but that's my number five, Ron Gallo. Number four is Boy Pablo, and the song is called Honey. It's a single that was released. I think this was Kevin's favorite. I like Boy Pablo because Patrick showed me them about a year ago, and they have this quirky, amateurish video that they came out with, and it's deliberately yeah. um, <laughs> amateurish. Sort of and, like our YouTube channel. <laughs> yeah, sort of like <laughs> us. So they were just basically doing a play on that. They were on a pier. It was, it's a really cool video. We'll link it in the description. Yeah, Boy Pablo is the king of bedroom pop, if you've never heard him. He has a ton of music, so there's somewhere that you'll probably enjoy it if you search hard enough. Number three is... Whoop. <laughs> number three is My Morning Jacket. They released a new album called The Waterfall 2. It's not like a classic album. It's not like Z or It Still Moves or one of their famous ones, but I think it's a classic My Morning Jacket album. There's, You can listen to it from start to finish and enjoy yourself go on a drive and listen to it. There are a few great songs. Um, Still Thinking and Magic Bullet, I think, are maybe the two best songs on that album. But I enjoyed it. 7.5 out of 10 type of album, so it's good. Nice, yeah. You were looking forward to that album because <laughs> yeah. Patrick let me know the night before that it was coming out at midnight, I believe. <laughs> yeah. And I've been receiving advertisements for My Morning Jacket ever since. Oh, and really? I, I still haven't listened to them yet, but they're on my YouTube. Dude, and Apartment's bugged. Yeah, the apartment's bugged. The government's in here, Big Brother. Over Between our that shoulder. and Dune. Yeah. Oh God. <laughs> okay, number two for me is Bill Callahan. Bill Callahan's gonna release an album in early September, and he's been releasing a single every week, I think, since July. And the most recent one is called The Mackenzies, so that's an accumulation of five singles he's released so far. And you listen to that song Pigeons um, by Bill Callahan. If you haven't heard of Bill Callahan, he's Probably one of the best singer-songwriters, I think, out there. On my Mount Rushmore of singer-songwriters, there's David Berman of the Silver Jews, Bill Callahan, Josh Ritter, and Jason Isbell. Bill Callahan's amazing. Um, Bill Callahan's another artist that Patrick introduced me to because I'm a big Silver Jews fan. David Berman, great songwriter. Yeah. And Bill Callahan's in that same class of musicians. He actually has some really good Silver Jews covers since... David Berman just died last year. And Kevin, I think, described Bill Callahan as having a conversational tone um, when he sings in many of his songs. I think that's a good way of describing him. He's got like an amazing ability to combine narrative with poetic language, um, and he's like immersive. When you listen to him, you feel like you're in a whole different place. It's really amazing listening to him. Um, some of his songs sound a little bit different than this EP, so you should give him a listen if you haven't heard of him before. Sometimes I Wish I Were an Eagle is my favorite album by him. Okay. Yeah, so I'm getting a little sidetracked. I, I could talk about Bill Callahan for a while, so. I know, I would really like to go more into him because the conversational tone is huge for me because we like Dylan, Neil Young, yeah. and all those types of people. Our favorite singers are those that can't sing. I know, and at the beginning of one of his songs on the CP, he says, Hello, this is Johnny Cash. Hello, this is Johnny Cash. And, um, and then he signs it off by saying, Sincerely, L. Cohen. So those are probably two other influences that he could be compared to. 
Oh, yeah. Leonard Cohen, Johnny Cash. Yeah. Amazing. Okay, number one for me is a band called Jaguar Sun, and the album is called This Empty Town. I think similar in the sense that Bill Callahan's music is immersive, this album was really, it's like walking on a cloud, I would say. <laughs> it's like simple but profound. It's a great dreamscape, like dream pop. It's got a youth lacoon vibe. I listened to it from start to finish four times in a row one day. It was just amazing. You can have it in the foreground. Um, you can have it in the background and read to it. I liked walking around the city listening to it. It's amazing. The best songs on it are maybe This Empty Town, Gray Skies, and I think Red, the first song is called. All of those are really great. So you should give it a listen. They're a new band for me, so maybe that's the reason why they made it to the number one. There's some excitement in finding someone new that you like. Yeah. But I listened to like all their music after that album and I liked it all. So Jaguar Sun is a new fave. <laughs> and I'm all about music that's for all occasions. Yeah. Because when I really find a song that I like, it's on repeat and basically it sticks with me for the whole day. And I live according to that dog. Wait, <laughs> dog? <laughs> <laughs> I live according to that song for as long as the obsession remains. <laughs> yeah, you just said I, I live according to that dog and I called Bill Callahan David Callahan. <laughs> yeah, so those are my top five. We'll probably try to do this every month. I'll mix up the type of music. Like and subscribe. Hopefully this is a shorter video for you with short attention spans. <laughs> and leave some comments about what we should talk about next. Yeah.